What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for another GeForce Now News Thursday. We've got 13 games this week that we'll list out for you, but we also got a couple other things to go over when it comes to GeForce Now memberships and availability, and of course, some of that holiday sale still going on. So let's go ahead and get into it, starting with the holiday sale. You can still get three months of PC Game Pass with the purchase of a six-month GeForce Now Ultimate membership. So this is something that we've uh, talked about the past week or two here on the channel. This is still currently available. So if that's something you want to take advantage of, make sure you check that out. I'll try to remember to put a link in the description for you uh, to make it easy to jump over to this page. All right. The other thing is GeForce Now availability. So... Right now, in the U.S. and EMEA, which would be uh, Europe, Middle East, uh, Africa, this is sold out for the free tier. So no free tier available right now. As far as priority, one-month priority memberships are sold out in the U.S. and EMEA as well. Six-month priority memberships are open, though, for both. Ultimate one-month and six-month right now, anyway, currently at making this video, are also available. So it looks like mostly the free tier and the one-month priority tier that are sold out for the US and EMEA. That's that time of making this video. This could change. Um, those availabilities could change for all of these, either sold out or not sold out. So make sure you track those again. I'll try to remember to put the links uh, to the status pages that you can go uh, take a look at and get updates on so that you can go check that out. So uh, yeah, besides the holiday sale, we do have that availability. It looks like GeForce Now is uh, quite busy. And we'll talk a little bit more about this um, closing down the uh, signups for now or pausing them uh, after we get through our games. So speaking of which, let's go ahead and list out the 13 games that we've got for this week. So we definitely have some titles in here I know some of you have been waiting for. So let's kick this off. We have Stellaris Nexus, a new release on Steam for December 12th. Tin Hearts, a new release on Xbox PC Game Pass for December 12th. Pioneers of Pagania, a new release on Steam December 13th. House Flipper 2, the new release on Steam December 14th. Soul Slinger, Envoy of Death, new release on Steam December 14th. Escape the Backroom, Steam, Flashback 2, Steam, Forza Horizon 4, Steam, Forza Horizon 5, Steam and PC Game Pass, The Front on Steam, Minecraft Dungeons, Steam and PC Game Pass, Primal Carnage Extinction, Steam, and Universe Sandbox on Steam. Decent list of titles, but definitely Forza Horizon 4 and mainly Forza Horizon 5 are two titles I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about when's Forza Horizon 5 coming. So really excited to see both Steam and PC Game Pass now supported for the two for Forza Horizon uh, games. Also, if Minecraft Dungeons is your thing, that's another nice one uh, to be added on here. And it's great to see those PC Game Pass games continuing to come over. Plus, we had some new releases in here as well. I think Tin Hearts might be one of the ones I wanted to check out. I got to go back through and take a look at some of the new releases on this list. But that's our 13 games for this week. Let's talk about those memberships just a little bit more and the whole pausing of being able to sign up. And I've noticed that with the uh, Fortnite events that have come out, which has been a fantastic update for Fortnite, quite honestly, with the new game modes, I've really been into the rocket racing and the uh, festival stage playing. That's really fun. Um, and also with Call of Duty coming, which includes Warzone, Modern Warfare 2 and 3. I've noticed some cues when I never used to have them, even on my ultimate uh, from time to time. But then they were very quick and I got on. But um, especially free, though, or priority, it's, it's really been getting busy. I appreciate them putting a pause for especially paying customers a uh, priority and ultimate um, to help alleviate and make sure that they don't get too overwhelmed where, you know, the paying customer can't get on and free well that's just always been a busy tier and it's going to continue getting that way the free tier is an interesting one but when it comes to having to pause i'm all for it ultimate priority whatever if they do get too busy to make signups and they need to pause things for a little bit i'd much rather see that all right guys that's our news for this week don't forget to go check out that holiday sale if you want some pc game pass uh with an ultimate subscription we've got our 13 games here i'm happy to see forza horizon 5 and 4 uh making its way here and then of course a little bit of an update on the availability of gfn all right guys thanks a lot for coming to check out the video as always i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next one